Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 14th, 2024. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at the last two days of imagery on our sun. We do have one X-class solar flare to report to. Not really sure on the strength of it, but it's from the cresting sunspots that we're turning in we have 10 sunspots right now on our sun having a look at the last 48 hours incoming this is where we'll see the x-class solar flare and it did produce a couple m-class solar flares before that but telemetry from solar x influx is not being updated right now this is the last 48 hours outgoing Small CME detected and forecasted in the outgoing position from that activity there. Plasma filament. Looking at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last two days of events. No, most notable, the X-class and the sunspot regions turning in. And as well, coronal hole regions, one turning away and one equatorial region getting ready for an earth facing now. And then another light here, 193 angstroms. Just some amazing images of our sun brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide. And here we observing 10 sunspot regions on our sun. Another close look here at 304 angstroms showing the X-class solar flare and the couple minor M-class solar flares just ahead of it. Right there and there and then boom. And as you can see, solar X-ray flux is not being updated since yesterday, showing strong M-class solar flare from the 11th into the 12th. Space Weather Prediction Center has not updated these models yet. Still showing CME and incoming solar storm for late tonight and into tomorrow. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing outgoing most recent CME out towards Bepi Satellite and the Parker Solar Probe. And then earthquakes the last 24 hours as we're just right about the average 200 earthquakes in 24 hour period. But we did have a sizable earthquake here to report. 6.5 in Kimb, Papua New Guinea, 49 kilometer depth. No tsunami from that earthquake. And it was just a little bit offshore. So not really affecting the population. Some pretty deep earthquakes through the Tonga region today. 4.5, 4.9. Nifu, Tonga. 389 kilometer depth. As well, 522. Carrying on here around the rest of the world. Pretty deep earthquake here. Deepest past 24 hour, 555 kilometer depth. Argentina. As well, a 5.3 there reported. Mid-Atlantic Ridge. 4.6 earthquake here. Ecuador. As well, Guatemala seeing a 4.8 Not much to report across North American play right now. It seems pretty quiet. Round of the rest of the world. Most notable here. 4.9 there. Eastern China. Pretty rare region for earthquakes as well. And a deep earthquake there. Afghanistan 4.0. And continuing activity through the Mediterranean. Heads up everybody. This is the last seven days for earthquakes around the world largest being the 6.5 that we just had in Papua New Guinea again no tsunami expected from that large earthquake thank you all for subscribing hitting that play button and joining this amazing compassionate and loving community keeping humanity aware and prepared 
Now, I have mentioned over the last few days the 45 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. Here is a look at the map showing all of the active and erupting, which are orange and red, and yellows showing signs of unrest. But we've been watching this week Michael Volcano, multiple eruptions, lots of SO2 being funneled into the southern hemisphere. We've got Villarica, Ubinas, Sabincaya, Fernandina, the Galapagos Islands, and as well, multiple volcanoes all through Colombia and Peru, Ecuador, Machin, Peos, Ricon de la Veja, Santa Maria, and Guatemala, Fuego. But right now we are still above average. Average is 25 to 30 active and erupting volcanoes daily. And right now we have 45. Wreck Janes. As well through Italy here, Stromboli and Etna. Has been pretty active all week in creating smoke ring spectacles. Overlooking Africa, Old Doño, Nirigongo, and Nir Mirigira. Notable here, volcanoes showing signs of unrest. And as well, notable here, the herd of volcano, which I think that might have been a contributor to all of the SO2 that's been funneling into the Southern Hemisphere recently. And then, of course, around the west, a ring of fire where we see most of our active and erupting volcanoes, especially through Indonesia and Japan. And then the only other active and erupting volcano in the southern hemisphere, mighty Erubis volcano. And they're showing the white volcano down here, but that's not where it's supposed to be. It's actually here. And then let's have a look at our SO2 models. Showing the SO2 content, sulfur dioxide emissions. As they have thickened a little bit in the northern hemisphere, coming out of Alaska. And as well through Mexico. Overlooking South America and Africa. No new major eruptions to show here. Just continuing gassy emissions from the continent. Northern Hemisphere, quite a bit of SO2 coming out of the volcano through Iceland. Then overlooking Australia and all through Indonesia, Southeast Asia. No new changes to report here. Now let's get to weather here. Brought to you by Windy.com. We're showing a seven-day forecast. Big system affecting eastern Canada. High pressure ridge moving in. Big low moving through the central United States this week, Tuesday into Wednesday. Could have some pretty extreme weather events happening there. As well, long-range forecast. Big snowy system moving up into eastern Canada, Quebec. And as well, things will be changing along the west coast as it will be a wet coast in the long-range forecast. Showing here some pretty cool temperatures in the long range that could be funneling down through North America. There was actually snow falling in the higher Sierra Nevadas of California yesterday. Overlooking Europe. Big low moving in this week. Another one coming in from the north. High pressure ridge getting ready to move in and clear things out by Thursday into Friday. Other than that, no major systems or extreme weather events forecasted. Just some regular spring rains. Overlooking Australia, South Africa. 
lingering low through South Africa, and as well, no cyclones, no typhoons to report. Just some intense daily evaporation rains moving into eastern Africa. Leave you here looking at the North Pacific. Big high pressure ridge keeping things clear in the southwest coast of the United States. Long range forecast not really showing any change in that. Big high pressure blob hanging out over Hawaii. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, please don't forget to give a big old thumbs up. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.